In this topic, we are going to talk about the objectives of international compensation, uh, objectives that the organization must be able to achieve while compensating its employees. So it should be the uh, compensation packages must be designed in a way so that they can achieve certain objectives beyond only compensating the employees. So what are those objectives? Let's take a look. So the compensation policy should uh, be consistent with the overall strategy, structure and business needs of the multinational organization. Uh, it should be if, if the organization is going into expansion, then it should be the compensation strategy should be equated according to the expansion strategy. If it is going into uh, restructuring, then the compensation strategy should be accordingly designed um, in, uh, for, for, for making um, uh, compensation packages attractive for people who would be ready to um, work in an organization who is undergoing restructuring. So it should match with the strategy of the organization. Then the policy should, maintain, should be able to retain and maintain the staff uh, in areas where the multinational has the greatest needs and opportunities. So uh, the compensation packages should be developed uh, in a way so that people uh, should go and work in those places where the multinational organization has got the most competitive advantage, where it uh, can reap the maximum benefits of its operations and therefore can be most profitable for the organization. So the, uh, the compensation policy, it has to be designed in a way so that it can retain staff in places where they are required. The policy should also facilitate the transfer of international employees in the most cost effective way for the firm. So uh, you, the organization should be designing its compensation packages in a way that it is cost effective for the organization and also facilitates the employees who are going on the international assignments. Ye na ho ke aap international assignments pe logon ko itni high cost ke upar bhej rahe hain aur aap transfer ke upar itne uh, zyada cost jo hain wo incur kar rahe hain ke ye aapke liye international operations jo hain wo aapke liye profitable hone ki bajaye wo aapko nuksan pahunchaye. So aapne apne jo compensation packages hain unko is tarah se design karna hai taake wo cost effective ho aapki organization ke liye. Uh, then another objective of international compensation policy, uh, uh, the, uh, the policy must give due consideration to equity and ease of administration. So this is also a very important, cha uh, important challenge for the uh, human resource department of the international firm that it should be easily administrable. Uh, it should be something, uh, it, it should be designed in a way in which people are compensated, they can draw their salaries easily and uh, the organization can also pay their salaries easily. Administration of that is an easy process. So, aapne kaun se bank mein accounts uh, khulwane hai, aapne kis tarah ke banks ke saath apne uh, contracts karne hai, iske ilawa aapne kis tarah se salary ko divide karna hai, agar kuch compensation jo hai, wo aap... Uh, uh, um, host country mein pay kar rahe hain, kuch jo hai, wo aap parent country ke accounts mein transfer karne hai, to, to ye sab cheeze jo hai, iski administration ko cost effective, efficient aur e um, uh, ease wali banana jo hai, wo aap ke liye bada important objective hona chahiye. Uh, so that is another objective of uh, international compensation. And therefore, all these objectives bringing together, there should be an ongoing act uh, balancing act between global standardization and local customization so your local your international compensation packages should be uh, based on global standards uh, which are following uh, global um, uh, dynamics global perspectives but they also should be customized to the local context so when we talk about uh, being global and uh, acting local uh, this should also be implemented in the compensation aspect of, uh, in, of international human resource management that your compensation packages, they follow some standards of international level, but they also uh, are customized according to the local needs of uh, people who are working in that local environment. 
So these are the various different objectives that the compensation strategy, the compensation policy of your organization should be meeting uh, and not just paying people in numbers and in figures, but also be meeting these uh, strategic challenges of your organization.